and welcome to Tax TV. Uh, got Ryan the Bearded Tag on. Ryan, appreciate you taking your time out, mate, as always. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, a few things really to uh pick out at Carlisle game, and obviously, two and one show we'll talk about the Cheltenham game coming up. Yeah, um, we have to get back to winning ways, uh, Ryan. You know, we didn't want to back hang over from the Lincoln game to fester and potentially cause a banana skin um, against yeah. Carlisle over at bottom of the league. Um, some changes made and a few people's eyebrows raised, but again, Collins has seen it and he's had to shake things up, mate. Yes, yeah, it's, 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 it's a brave move. Uh, I think also the fact that we've, you know, played four games and they're going to be five games come Saturday in two weeks. I think there's, I think there's an element of that as well, um, is, you know, giving people a, a bit of a rest and maybe putting in a, a slightly understand side against bottom of the league. Uh, but also I think there's, in, in in that as well, there were some people that, you know, maybe need to be understand that they can't be that, that they're not undroppable. Um, and it it it, it would a brave it would a brave move. I'm not so sure about putting Williams back to centre back. I, I'm sure there's a reason behind it. I think Pines has got sounds like a bit of a long term injury, um, which like is you. which is really good. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. It happens to every team. But they're not putting McCart in. I th- I didn't think McCart played that bad Saturday at all. Um, so a bit disappointed to see him on bench unless he were carrying a knock. I'm not so sure, but anyway, um, yeah, it would in, it, it's certainly some interesting, um, some interesting selections, shall we say? But you know, call. yeah, and I thought he, I thought he played well actually. Cosgrove, I thought he played yeah, he all right. He, he he played well, mate. He's, he's he's a useful player. Him, he just needs to add goals to his game, more goals to his game, mate. But he's he's a he's, he's a really useful player, mate. He's really he's strong. Worked, mate. Yeah, yeah, his work rate's brilliant. He's, yeah. you know, he's got a de- when he when he gets him on target, he's got a decent strike. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, but he's got a good assist last night. He's 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 a unit mate as well. He's a nuisance. You know, what I mean, he's he's taking two players with him um, and creating space for other people. So I thought that were a um, I thought that were an interesting selection. And I actually said up way up because I, I, we went to a game last night. We were driving up and said if he if he does drop one at strikers, I personally feel like it should be it should be called. Well, not because he's not only because he's he's dropped, you know, he's not he's not scored for eight games and now nine games. Um we needed that press from front and, and McAtee is the one to press press hard from front because Cosgrove's not quite as quick. So I was just thinking it'd be better if you're gonna drop one of them to probably drop Cole if you're gonna wanna, you know, play that high press from front. So but yeah, it's, well it worked out, mate, because we got we we, we we got the result. Um the John Russell one was a strange one. I have to say, I thought I thought Conor Grant was a sure sure footing to to replace. Thought Russell Kane. had a decent game as well. To be fair, I think he started up a bit shaky, but he came into it. Just to say that he actually had a good game. Yeah, he did. He yeah. played really well. Um, yeah. He had some re- he had some really good moments, and obviously popped up with a goal as well. So, yeah. you know, fair play, fair play. He's just he's just so slow. He's just so mm-hmm. slow. Yeah, but. You know, I think that with the ball at his feet, he had some really nice moments, I have to say. Yeah. Um, and he did put a decent shift in. So, you know, just going to sort of tip your cap to Collins and say fair play. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I, I, when team lineup come through, I saw Killip and no disrespect to Killip, I'm thinking, oh dear, Robert's pick a bit of an injury. Like I said, I thought it were a bold brain move, but I think a lot of fans have been calling for it as well. We, you know, like I've said, we not complacency, but it, the things just haven't been clicking for Cole when he's been starting. Because yeah. the last eight to nine games, you know, um, in fact, his last goals, he scored were against Carlisle when we, put, when we played him at home at yeah. Well, So again, it was Russell, what we kind of knew, uh, became going to be out for a couple of games. Williams, what a, I was surprised, like you said, Vera Williams, as Colin seen something different. I mean, fair play, Williams already took his goal as well. And again, you don't know. Goal. Yeah, you know, you know took, it's. Yeah, sorry, mate. Yeah, he took his goal well, but he was at fault for their second goal, mate. Yeah, yeah. Uh, goal. And again, we kind of, you know, about pines. We don't know how long he's going to be out for. It's like gone a bit quiet. Is it a concern? I don't know. The stage it seems like, like you've said, Vera Ryan. But I think all in all, I'm not being disrespectful. I thought we could have. I thought we deserved more goals. It's in post a couple of yeah. times. I thought we look, you know, after we went one note down 
I'm thinking, here we go, 10 minutes gone. But Ben, we seem to come into the game more. And again, like we did against Wickham, we, we, we seem to be more attacking. Especially with the substitutions as well. Taking Phillips off, yeah. Ian Cole on, dropping McAtevia. Very attack-minded. What Colin's thinking about the goal difference as well. Bearing in mind what happened at the weekend, I don't know. I, I don't so. know what your take on is, but I thought Cole looked fresher, uh, Ryan, when he came on. He looked more energetic when he came on as a sub, mate. Yeah. Yeah, he did. I mean, yeah, he did. You're right, he did. We, we, we needed some fresh legs up front because they, 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 start, they were starting to look a bit tired. But, um, yes, from, from an attacking standpoint, mate, once we went one down, or, well, probably after about 20, 30 minutes when we woke up, we, we were, you know, we, we, you could see the difference between the two teams and we probably should have scored quite a few more goals. But we mm. actually played some... We played some really nice stuff, actually, and it, 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 it was good to see. It weren't a, you know, it weren't a brilliant display um, last night, but it... it, it it was certainly an improvement on Saturday and, and got the job done. Um, I have to say, this this going one behind early doors has got to, you know what I mean? We need to, I'm sure Neil Collins is doing everything in his power to get him to try and eradicate that that really bad habit that we've got. But, um, I mean, what can you do about like errors like that in defence last night? You know, the two, the two, two errors leading to gold last night where they just yeah. let that ball drop behind them in first half and striker must have thought, hey, it's Christmas. <laughs> he run through, he's got ball, he's gone in and, uh, and slotted in. I don't think any, I don't think Killip could have done anything about, about either goal. Um, and then Williams giving it away, you know, giving it and getting turned around and, and then ball through and that lad's clean through, isn't he? So, um, and there were a few shaky moments. They, they should have had a penalty as well. They absolutely should have had a penalty yeah. first half. Ah, mm. that weren't a penalty. I'm not. I'm not sure. So mm. I think I'd have been extremely upset if that were me. If that were Barnsley. Had a decision gone in his favour for once. Yeah, yeah, he weren't. Getting, but to be fair, the ref were all, The ref were good last night because yeah. he didn't give anything for anybody. <laughs> he was consistent yeah. across the whole the thing. Consistent part, let, yeah. And I like that because there were some people trying to buy fouls and trying to, you know what I mean, doing soft ones and he wasn't having any of it last night. I think he probably went a bit too far with his, um, with how stern he were being and not giving out. But, you know, he were con what I will say is, and what I've been asking for all season, he was consistent for both teams. He didn't give anything yeah. for either of them. That's what you need. And that's, that's what, what you, what need. you whether, need. Whether you agree with his decisions or not, he was consistent with his decision making, which is mm. he wanted to keep the game going. He weren't, he weren't buying into anybody's airy fairy you know, bullshit fouls that they try to buy. Um, so I thought he did. I, did, I thought he did well last night, ref. To be fair, I mean, we, we talked about it. You know, after match uh, reaction against Lincoln, a lot to be desired from that. And yeah. I think with Collins, we check up what he did. We players what he's got to his uh, disposal. What it what it more a performance. Other than result, or would it result on them looking at performance after Ryan? Oh, definitely me, result, me, definitely result on performance yeah. after. Because I, I, I met uh, Dan were down there, Dan were at game, um, and I had a chat with Dan, with Dan before the game. And we both said it, it's, it's result first, performance yeah. after. And it, it and it's got to be because it's at this point the most important thing is the three points, the performance can come after. And for, for good parts of the game, as performance were really good, um, I think the first. 10, 15 minutes in the last 10 minutes or so were just a bit shaky, you know. Carlisle really pushed us in that last 10 minutes yeah. without actually, you know, doing much as much. I know they got that second goal, but you know, they pushed, they often puff without actually doing stuff. But we did we, we made it difficult at end and it didn't need to. We were absolutely cruising that game, mate. And we probably should have been, you know, maybe four or five goals. Um, should have had four or five in there, but you know. Most important thing is, mate, is three points. And I think that'll really settle the lads down after Saturday. Last thing they wanted to go there were, were, were to go there and against bottom of the league and not get, you know, get a shaky performance and not get a result. So I think that'll just put us back where we need to be, mate. Put us back on track and we can we can put Saturday, put Saturday to bed. Yeah, I mean, getting back on track like you said, and uh, results with others. You look at others what, what did win. You know, we've all been via the via bats, Bolton yeah. Derby, but so again, we're still in pack. We're looking at the table now, the fourth, 70 points, a game in hand of uh, the, the three of them. Bolton on 74, uh, Derby 75, also for 90. So again, we all won. So 
I was going to say Destiny is in his own hand. It kind of is in one way. Um, like yeah, but Peterborough, Peterborough on thirty six behind us on sixty eight. Um, but again, I think we need to focus on what we do. Yeah, absolutely, mate. We, we've got you know we've definitely got the easiest running. Um, whether that's a good thing or not, or whether you know whether we've passed the complacency or not, I guess I guess we'll find out in the coming weeks. But yeah. on paper, we've got the easiest running. Um, if you look at the games at the top, Portsmouth have got uh, have got to play. They've got to play us. They've got to play Derby. They've got to play Bolton. They've got to play Peterborough. That's not saying that Pete. I'm not saying for a second that Portsmouth no, are going to drop, no. uh, drop points in all those games. Well, potentially, but yeah. they can't. When he plays them teams, they can't all win, can they? You know, they can't all win, get three points out of those games. So there's going to be points dropped by those top four around us, the other four teams around us in those games, just against Portsmouth and Derby and Bolton have yeah, played this weekend. Yeah. Again, they can't both win. Mm. So if you look at their fixtures, there's there's matches, regardless of the outcome in those games, that are going to potentially benefit Barnsley. I have a lot of saying of it, yeah, final because, outcome of season. Yeah, right? because if you look at, there's going to be teams in and around us, mate, they're going to be dropping points because they're playing each other, so they're either going to draw or, or one of them's going to lose and we get, the, you know, to drop points. Now time to capitalise, yeah. I think yeah. ideally, apart from when Portsmouth play us, I think because Portsmouth are so far in front, we're probably not going to catch Portsmouth. It's been ideal if they could win all them games and take points off, take points, points off probably. Walton Derby. Yeah. I think it's they're, they're, <laughs> I think you know, I think Portsmouth are nailed on for, for winning it, mate. And I think that second place is open, so I'd, I'd be probably rooting for Portsmouth on uh, in in those games. But you know, mate, it's going to be a very very interesting running. Like and I said, like we said before, I think it's going all the way down to the wire, mate. I really do. That second place, I think it's going all the way down to the wire. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting end to the season. Uh, before we get to beer, obviously we've got Cheltenham coming up Saturday. Yeah. Another tricky game, if I'm being honest, uh, Ryan. Um, Cheltenham either set up, either can defend, either can make it awkward. They're far from bottom, so we're fighting the sense uh, to get out of here. Yeah. They're not going to be, I, mean, I could see Cheltenham come in and be happy with a, a draw at all, well, if I'm being honest, because we'll see that as a, a result. I think they'd be really happy with a draw, mate, yeah. Um, but again, it's down to us to impose our play onto them and Again, would you make any changes? Would you put call in for Cosgrove or would you keep front two same? I'd probably keep front two same, mate, if I'm being honest. I'd mm-hmm. like to see i I'd like to see McCart come back into to back three though, if we're not if we're not gonna be obviously we're not gonna be playing pine. So okay. um I think um Doug O'Kane said that um Liam Roberts it was only a minor injury. So is is it is it maybe for Saturday? So hopefully, you know. Although I don't think Ben Kirk did out wrong last night. No. He did what he had to do, mate. He, he you know, he, he did what he needed to do. He saved the shots he needed to save. He, you know, he, he did he did a decent job. To be fair, his distribution were half decent as well, actually. Mm. Mm. So yeah, um, yeah. Obviously, Roberts, if he's available, mate, coming in for kill it. Um, I'd like to see, I'd like to see a centre back in back three again. I think, you know, I think he proved last night. I, I really like Jordan. He got a good goal, but he, you know. Playing in that centre back role last night, he, he made in there and it led to a goal, and, and I think we've seen that a few times over the week, but of of the season, sorry. Um, but other than that, no, probably not, because I mean, I I would have liked to have seen Conor Grant come in for for Herbie Kane, because I think Herbie's banned for two games, isn't he? He's yeah, suspended for Second two games. Game, game, game. Yeah. Last night, I would have liked to have seen Conor Grant come in because it seemed a logical um, replacement for him. Um, you know, because but what I mean, what they did do is put they put Luke Con- he put Luke Connell into into a Herbie Kane's position and put um, John Russell, Russell into the into the CDM role. You know, John Russell played well last night, so I can't I can see him keeping him as it were. I can see I can't see him changing that. Um, do you think, think that he, allowed Connell to impose a bit more of Yeah, game, he was in since last night when he cut. Uh, he, uh, all Luke, one he, he, he really yeah. was. He, 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 he was in. I actually liked him in that attacking role. I thought I thought. Yeah. He, he played really well, yeah. Um, and he had it, he had it, you know, he had a couple of shots, but albeit they were blocked, but they were decent, they were decent efforts. But we were getting mm-hmm. himself into the right positions to to have a go, weren't he? Because he's in mm-hmm. that more advanced role. So, I've I, 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 when, I, when, I wa- when I watched Luke Connell, I'm thinking he's playing a bit more advanced role, but like I said, there, we're having a, having a few more pot shots, mm-hmm. he seems to be spreading it and opening play up, he was running it defense, 
I'm yeah. thinking, oh, wait, well, it's it, it, it tends to be like a bit of a, more of a, an attack threat than than an Irby because I think yeah. when Irby's played in that position, is at times he's got forward, but is is like rather never a go, is like look for a side pass or a, is a look, yeah, he's, he's over past it, if you know what I mean, if, if it makes sense, yeah. Whereas when Luca will be here. He was looking to have a shot, looking to try and knock it out wide. Trying, and I think he's, he's opening, he's trying to open the play up. I think it opens yeah. a bit more in back, in back attack sense and all, uh, Luca. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He played well last night, mate. Um, I, th- I don't think I don't think he'll change anything with midfield considering what we've just seen last night. So I don't think you want to think of a back with it too much. Like I say, yeah. uh, Roberts. Be to see what happens in defence. Uh, be to see how long plans are going to be out for no, because that's my big yeah, loss. That's, that's putting that man. He's coming. He's, he's doing yeah. well, hasn't he? Yeah, he's really doing well. Um, again, Cheltenham. It's it's going to be one of them kind of games. Me, where I think Cheltenham are just going to make it awkward, and it's down yeah. to us to. It's, I think it's going to be down to us to open them up, and I think with Luke here, if he plays in that kind of position, I think. That might benefit us. I think Luca will try and open them up a bit more. Yeah. Uh, we can't, like you say, we can't afford to go one note down again. Need to not bad our, our no, look, It's a really bad habit, isn't it? And, you know, eventually it's going to come and bite you on ass like it did on Saturday, where you just mm-hmm. can't get back into the game. You can't just think, you know, that you're going to you're gonna go behind and get back into the game. I saw another stat from, um, from Doug, Doug O'Kane last night, and he said that, that's 25 points from losing positions this season. And it's like, that's brilliant. That is really good. And you could maybe compare it to Michael Duff's three points, but you've also got to remember, we didn't go behind that often under Michael Duff. True, yeah. <laughs> and what we did great do... In his locker. When, when, great when, in his when, locker. When we got in front, we stayed in front under Duffy as well. When yeah, we got in front, we, we, were very, we were very rarely, if at all, I can't remember if, what the exact stats were. It's very, very minute number of games where we went in front and got drag dragged back. I don't I don't think we actually went in front and lost under Michael Duff. Mm-hmm. So um I know it's I know it's a good start. It's, it's a great sounding start, 25 points from losing positions, but we, we could I'd rather not get into a losing position if it's all same. <laughs> yeah 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 great in his locker at least at least we've know we've got that in his armor. Uh, we did, well it's it's having the right mentality to get back into games isn't it and that's great. Yeah, it is. but if yeah. we could to stop going behind that, yeah, that, that, that'd be good. But it'd be ideal, to, yeah, especially against a side like Cheltenham, is to you know, we know what the game plan's going to be. And to yeah. be fair, when we played him at their plus, listen, it's a very different team to the one that we played where you know it was very early on in the season. I actually, watched it while we were on holiday in, in, in August, watched it on I Follow. But I thought they played all right, Cheltenham. They were unlucky not to score on a few, you know, a couple at least a couple of occasions. Um, mm-hmm. you know, they found Liam Roberts making some great saves, and eventually, we obviously went and gave two and out. But, they caused us some problems. They yeah. were it when it was early doors, and we're still, you know, we had a very different defence then um, mm. um, to what we've got now. Not that I say it's it's been a bit shaky the last couple of games, to be fair, but we're a very different team to the one that played played him at their place. Um, I think they're going to come and obviously try, like you say, a draw would be an ideal result. But if we can get that first goal, I think we're going up them up because obviously then that we saw that last night with Carlisle. You know, we got that goal, and then they were trying to get back in. You know, they were trying to get back into the game, and it just opened loads of space up. Opened and back. it up, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we, can't, we kind of agreed on like you know starting, you know reasons why not thinking about it too much. Maybe Petz Robertson, you run about Williams as well yeah. in centre defence, but resting and more or less keep it as is. Uh, school prediction, my mate. Where are you going for on this one? <sighs> I'm gonna be brave, mate. I think, I think, I think, I think we can go out and thump them, mate. I, I do. I, I just think, I think we will, though. I think, you know, last night obviously we're gonna be there. Were gonna be a lot of nerves there because they needed to come out and, and rectify what they did Saturday, and, and, and obviously playing bottom of the league, you don't want to be go out and be that team. Um, but once we walk up, we, we seem we we did play a decent football. You know, a couple of terrible um, defensive errors um, aside. I think now we've 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 you know pushed that to one side now we pushed that did last Saturday to one side. I think we can go out and, and, and thump them mate. So I'm gonna be brave and I'm gonna say four no Barnsley. Four no Barnsley. Well, uh I won radio Sheffield last night about quarter past seven because the phone was up. I go up show and we said talk yeah. about stuff and we said, What's your school prediction? I said three one. And I thought 
I wish I'm glad I didn't have a bet on it, but I won't fire off. Uh, <laughs> and I'm going to I'm going to set same again against Cheltenham. I still think we've got a, a, a goal to concede it in his locker. You know, until we get back, little weakness sorted out. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say three one. Uh, but again, I take four and out, and I think looking on Collins, especially when he made his subs, he was uh, my take on it was. I think the back of his mind is thinking about the goal difference as well. Is is looking at the goal difference and what it is, and what an extra point back could be. How tight it would be. Yeah. So I wouldn't be surprised if come Saturday, if it were like such as Cosgrove and McAtee up from, I wouldn't be surprised again if we made the same call and drop McAtee into where Phillips plays and have them to up from call them Cosgrove. Because I think at home, if we can bag a, a few goals and like four or five. I'm thinking, do you know what? That kind of repairs yeah. the damage done last weekend. Two wins on bot, scoring goals. And I'm thinking, is he thinking about that? I mean, but, uh, uh, so you're going for now, I'm going 3 1. So we'll, we'll finish off on this. And people watch, watch him. Let us know your comments on uh, lineup, score predictions as well. This would be interesting. Do you think then, Ryan, Collins is taking back to crowd? Do you think he's thinking about the, the goal scored? He ought to be, mate, because we, we actually had that as an advantage over Bolton. And yeah. within two games, it's gone because, Bol, Bol, you know, we got beat 5-1 and then Bolton and then won 5-0 last night. So, yeah. you know, that all that that, that, that two, three goal advantage we have over Bolton's completely gone all the way now. So, and I have to say, <coughs> although Bolton are in around us, quite pleased with that result for Bolton last night because it puts us 10 points clear of, of seventh place. Oxford now are in eighth. On six, hey, well, or is it? So, what about is it? What what are we now clear on? Um, well, we're on 70 in fourth, yeah. Peterborough in fifth on 68, Stevenage in six on 61. And I fancy Blackpool to make the playoffs. Me, Blackpool seventh on 60, as is Oxford. In so we're 10 points, clear, 10 points clear, of Black, 10 Blackpool points clear. Schools. Yeah, not yeah. So, so that I mean, that that would that's what I was saying. I was saying oh, we're driving up, up my up, and I was saying, I hope Bolton beat Oxford tonight. I was like, what do you, why? Why do you want that? I said, but, well, it's most likely that they will, and obviously, it puts that space between you know, more into it, it, it confirms playoffs. Um, not much definitely confirms playoffs, but being 10 points clear there. But for me, you know, you're saying about Blackpool there, what about Lincoln? Lincoln at a on, on 58. So the two points, they're, they're two, so they're three points away from Stevenage. Yeah, I think Oxford's little... dropped like a, a bomb. Oxford have drawn, drawn, lost, lost, won, lost. This like one of the last Liam Manning to Bradford's day to, to Bristol City, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, and yeah, good shot. I mean, you look at Lincoln, one, 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 drawn, one, one, 58. And then Blackpool, one, one, lost, one, drawn, one. Stevenage, over in six, just. By a point, lost, lost, won, won, drawn, drawn, and I think Stephen will drop out of playoffs. We've got to play them. Uh, yeah. That's his game in hand. Yes, Stephen has only played thirty six, and Blackpool and Oxford have played thirty eight. But end it day, uh, as is uh, Lincoln on thirty eight. But end it day, it's already seven games in hand, but you need points on board. And I yeah. don't think, I think Blackpool will sneak in there. Blackpool have got that experience, haven't they? They've got that yeah. experience and they've got the experience in the squad. Lincoln's a good shout, though. I forgot about Lincoln because they're the final. Lincoln, Lincoln, they're they're well. yeah. not last night. They're, they are absolutely yeah. flying there, Lincoln. Yeah. Good shout back there. Yeah, Lincoln. Be interesting, but interesting, but I think as it is now, I mean, I'm going, I'm not on a bad position wise. We were going to finish at league. But I think you've got top two. They're probably between Portsmouth, Derby, Bolton and Barnsley. I think playoffs then. You've got Peterborough, Stevenage, Blackpool, Oxford, Lincoln, I think. Yeah. Ooh, Josh Lee Hart, Fox. I think Oxford have gone, mate. I think Oxford are just on a downward spiral, yeah. mate. They started yeah. off really really well under Liam Manning and then just got rug pulled from under the feet. And they're not happy with yeah. that new manager at all. They don't, you know, looking at the socials, they don't like him at all. So No. I think it's just they've just got they've gone from first and just got progressively got worse and worse they're and worse. Going and down, they? I could see yeah. them end up finishing tenth at best. At I think they'd have taken that considering they stayed up on last day of the season, last se <laughs> last game of the season, last season yeah. for them. It's just disappointing because they got off to such a good start. Um but you know, it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. 
Well, well yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> well, that's it. Um, Grass is always green, is it? So, yeah, you feel for Oxford. It's like us, is it? You know, it's not yeah. good to any uh, any club, is it? Like you can see what happens. But yeah, I mean, interesting. Like I've kind of touched on beer positions is kind of jostling, sorting the ways out. Like now, nah, it's going to be tight. Maybe last game of the season. Mm, going to be squeaky one time for a lot of fans. I think it's going down Looking to it. Way. Looking that way, it's going to get interesting as well. Mm. Uh, some form up in East City run about, going to be better. So, again, going to be doing that as well. So, that'll be a good uh, bank holiday. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. So, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Um, like, can we cont- can we get back to winning ways at Oakwell? Like, can we put five goal disappointments against Lincoln? Can we get back to winning ways against Cheltenham? Did it against Carlisle? Let's get back onto right track because we can't afford to slip up points because we've just been on about Oxford via we have a war, we have a now. It can easily happen. But fix is coming up thick and fast like now. Uh obviously Albert Bank holiday season. It's gonna be a few points, position changes moving about. Let's hope the bands can carry on in the right upward trajectory. Ryan Babir attack has always been a pleasure talking to you, mate. Yes, well. Um Ryan's going for a 4 now. I'm going for a 3 1. Let us know your score predictions in comments below. As always, I'll, I'll reply back to him. Uh, well, let's get on to the weekend. Let's fetch football back to Oakwell again. Back to winning ways. Let it be a good weekend at, uh, I'm going to say, at full time. Because at 5 o'clock, it could be 5 past 5, depending on the line or bloody officials. But yeah, back to winning ways. Going to be an interesting last few weeks, isn't it? Going into the game. Certainly at one. <laughs> yeah. Uh one thing left to say, you guys. <laughs>